Damian Green, one of Theresa May's closest allies, has been sacked from the cabinet after an inquiry found he had breached the ministerial code. He was asked to quit after he was found to have made inaccurate and misleading statements about what he knew about claims pornography was found on his office computer in 2008. He also apologized for making writer Kate Maltby feel uncomfortable in 2015. Laura Kinsberg said the PM had little choice but to ask him to go. The BBC's political editor said the departure of a close friend left Mrs May a lonelier figure. The 61-year-old Mr Green, who as First Secretary of State was effectively the PMS deputy, is the third cabinet minister to resign in the space of two months, Michael Fallon and Priti Patel having both quit in November. In her written response, Mrs May expressed deep regret at Mr Green's departure but said his actions fell short of the conduct expected of a cabinet minister. He had been under investigation regarding allegations of inappropriate behavior towards journalist and Tory activist M.S. Maltby. He denied suggestions that he made unwanted advances towards her in 2015. He also denied that he had either downloaded or viewed pornography on a computer removed from his Commons office in 2008. An official report by the Cabinet Office found that two statements he had made in November about being unaware pornographic material had been found on a computer in his office were inaccurate and misleading and constituted a breach of the ministerial code. The report also found that although there were competing and contradictory accounts of what were private meetings between himself and M.S. Maltby, the investigation found her account to be plausible. Her parents, Colin and Victoria Maltby, said in a statement they were not surprised to find that the inquiry found M.R. Green to have been untruthful as a minister, nor that they found our daughter to be a plausible witness. They praised their 31-year-old daughter for her courage in speaking out about the abuse of authority. M.S. Maltby is not commenting on Mr. Green's resignation until she receives more details from the Cabinet Office. In his resignation letter, Mr. Green said statements he made about what he knew about the pornography could have been clearer, conceding his lawyers had been informed by lawyers for the Met Police about their initial discovery in 2008 and the police had also raised the matter within him in a phone call in 2013. I apologize that my statements were misleading on this point, he said. Analysis by the BBC's political editor Laura Kinsberg Damien Green has never been a politician with a huge public persona, or even a hugely well-known character. But he was an extremely important ally of Theresa May. Not just a political friend but a genuine one, close to her for decades. The government, so the joke in Westminster goes, has become weak and stable, with Number 10 taking back some control of the agenda in recent weeks. So it is not likely that Mr. Green's exit will suddenly unleash another bout of turmoil. But the Prime Minister clearly took this decision very seriously.